Hey everybody out there in the internet world, it's your favorite revolutionary socialist, Hippinator13, back with another edition of Fascism 101 and Religious Correctness. I want to dig into something right quick that's, you know what I mean, that, you know what I mean, we're, we're really starting to figure this thing out. Um, the, uh, the, the, as you know, Biden dropped out. Kamala Harris is in, and these Bidenites are, of course, they're going to pivot to her, you know what I mean, and, you know, choose to just, you know, kick the can of fat Wall Street fascism down the road, and imperialism, the, the, the wars won't stop, you know, the, the um, you know, uh, stealing the surplus value from labor, uh, gouging consumers, not paying taxes, none of that's going to stop. It's all going to remain the same. It'd be exactly the same with Donald Trump. There's basically no difference in the two economies. And, uh, you know, we found out now that the, the uh, there's a company, you know, Trump tries to claim he's an outsider or something like that. that, that nothing could be further from the truth. That, you know what I mean? By any stretch of the imagination. As a matter of fact, Trump and the Republicans are funded by a Wall Street private equity company called Blackstone, while the Democrats are funded by the private equity company, which is well, more well known, uh, called BlackRock. You know, this is the, the, they. You know, and and this is absolutely well known. It's well documented. It's it's been. It's you know what I mean. Um, and it, it, it all it, it's fascism. It is. It's uh, when corporations take over your country. Even you know Mussolini defined fascism as the merger of the corporation and the state. When the corporations take over the state, that's fascism, and they do all sorts of things. They buy up media. They buy up homes. They monopolize virtually everything that they buy up homes. Um, just, just all these different things um, that it makes life almost impossible for people to live. They, it makes really just makes people slaves to Wall Street. It's, just, it's really just a, Wall Street is really a modern day slave engine, along with these private equity companies. As a matter of fact, one thing I wanted to say about Blackstone that's funding uh, Trump <clears throat> it is the largest holder of of uh, homes and apartments in America. It is the and he what he wants to do is completely deregulate, um, you know, the, the the rental and real estate industry. So it, it becomes even harder for you to live. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know what I mean to have a place to get a job and get a place to live and support yourself. You know what I mean? And then here we are in a housing, you know, in a homeless crisis and a housing crisis, and just people just, I don't know why people just absolutely refuse to just wake up. The only way out of this is armed resistance. It's literally the only way out. Uh, and of course, on the Biden side, I mean, on the, you know, of course, now it's the Harris side. Um, they, they're literally, you know what I mean? A lot of people think that Joe Biden has, uh, oh, he's not drilling or nothing. You know what I mean? He's actually increased, the, the, the Democrats have increased the uh, output of oil and gas three times what it was when Donald Trump was in office. So, uh, and, and as we know, you know what I mean? They're sending billions and billions and billions, you know, a day. You know what I mean? Uh, to foreign countries of our of, of taxpayer dollars, budgetary dollars, a million and uh, a trillion dollars in military funding, uh, and you know while we have, you know what I mean? All this, all these crises is going here at home. It's fascism abroad, fascism at home, imperialism abroad. Anyway, I don't want this video to go too long, because as you know, they don't they don't like to upload well. So uh, until next time, Arrivederci.